Hi everyone, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf and welcome to June Faves and Fails. There are a lot of products in this video. I'm going to get straight on with it after saying, you know, what do you think? Rocking the tango vibes today with a little bit of frilliness and a little bit of orange. <laughs> we are going full on summer glam today. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week. I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. And if you haven't subscribed for any reason, I would really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's get straight on with the new so firstly, I just want to thank everybody for their supreme patience with regards to me changing my filming space around and messing around with the lighting in the video. So if you watch every single one of my videos, and if you do, thank you, I love you, you will have noticed that I've changed my filming space around. I did it initially to improve the lighting because in the old filming setup, I actually had a light that shone on this side of my face and uh, it just made everything look a little skew whiff. <laughs> so I wanted to try and rectify that and also get a bit more space to work with in this room because I was feeling a little claustrophobic, not gonna lie. Anyway, I've changed everything around and I'm now directly in front of a window which I thought would be absolutely superb because I would be able to film in natural lighting and everyone would be happy. Doesn't really work like that when you live in the UK and your house is facing in the direction that mine is, which is directly south. <laughs> so I get the sun coming in in some shots and then I get cloud cover and the constant fluctuation in lighting. I lasted around about 30 seconds and I aborted the mission. So we are now back to studio lighting and after tweaking certain things in the room, the lighting above me, the lighting in front of me, I now feel like I've got it to a level where when I look in a mirror it looks exactly the same in the mirror as it does on the monitor. So this is as lifelike as it's going to get. And because I've changed my room around and I've also changed the lens on my camera, it means that the image that you're seeing at home is much crisper and clearer and more HD quality. So you are seeing every single lump and bump on my skin, which didn't happen in the previous setup. It was a lot fuzzier around the edges and my skin looked more airbrushed. <laughs> I really liked that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. You are seeing exactly what I am seeing now. So I hope it's okay for everybody. Let me know your thoughts on the new setup. If you were sat right in front of me right now, this is what it would look like. I, you know, it's it's been hard. It's been a long road. <laughs> but we finally got there. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Next bit of news. In a recent video, I was corrected in the comments section about my pronunciation of the name Pat McGrath. I was told that you actually don't pronounce the TH and it's Pat McGrath. And I looked it up using good old Google and Google told me that the person that corrected me was correct. And in fact, Pat McGrath is pronounced Pat McGrath. However, since filming that video and letting you all know that not only I was pronouncing it wrong, but probably 95% of everybody was pronouncing it wrong, I've realized that actually I was right in the first place and it is Pat McGrath. And really what I should have done in the first place, which I did after filming that video, is go and have a look at one of her advertisements. How does she pronounce her name? Well, she pronounces her name Pat McGrath. <laughs> the TH, you hear. So uh, I'm now correcting myself, correcting myself. <laughs> Just thought I would let you know. Okay, so there are no changes of opinions in this video. So we're gonna jump straight into fails and there are more fails in this video than there have been for a while because I think I've bought more. <laughs> And um, yeah, I've tried more products, so there, there's a lot more to dislike. Anyway, there aren't masses, but there's more than normal. So let's jump straight into the first one. Okay, so this is from Revolution Pro and it is their Restore Lip Balm. And you get a little tub, very similar to a normal lip balm. It's very creamy in texture and to be quite honest, I don't see the point in this product. It's a little sticky, 
I don't like the feeling of it and it doesn't do as much for hydrating the lips and nourishing the lips and being more of a lip treatment than I was hoping. So um, for me, I would save your money on this. It's a pleasant product, a little sticky and doesn't do very much. Moving on to the next fail. Now this one, I really didn't like. I really didn't like this and it's not because it's not a great product, it's because of the scent. It made me feel quite sick and um, I, I'm going to go into that in just a second. Some of you may love this because it's beautiful, but I... no. Ugh, no. So, this next one came as a sample freebie because I'd placed quite a large order with a brand, they sent me lots of sample sized freebies to try out at home. So this one, you are not going to be able to see this on screen because it's white and it bleaches out. So I'm going to put a picture of what I received up here for you. So this is from Eve Lom and it is her cleansing oil capsules. Now these are individual capsules and one capsule will do your entire face every single day. So this melts your makeup off, it also melts the SPF, it does a really good job of cleansing the skin deep down in the pores. It feels lovely on the skin, believe me my skin felt beautiful after I'd used this but this has a really, really large amount of eucalyptus oil in here and um, I don't like eucalyptus. Now, if you love eucalyptus, you are going to love this. This has also got chamomile in here and uh, it's also got clove in here, um, but yeah, the, the main thing that I could smell was eucalyptus oil. It's also got hops in here as well, so it's supposed to be quite calming on the skin. If you don't like essential oils in your products, this is definitely one to avoid. I smelt like I doused myself in a whole jar of eucalyptus essential oil. <laughs> and you know, that's just not for me. <laughs> it really isn't. So although this was a lovely product, consistency was nice, it did the job it was intended to do. Each individual capsule is biodegradable so it's not going to remain in the world forevermore. These will degrade over time and yeah I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it and it was such a shame because the product itself is, is lovely but yeah it's not for me really not for me. Moving on to the next fail and actually the last fail in this video. This has got to be some of the prettiest packaging I have ever seen. It's got like a suede or a leather look peachy outer to it. Beautiful clasp. It's from Givenchy. It's super, super luxurious. It definitely has a luxurious price tag. I think this is £28 and it's pretty much a lip balm. So it's one of their Rose Perfecto balms and um, I've got the shade 002 which is like a peachy shade. So it's marbled on the inside which is again super pretty, really nice. But although this was really hydrating and nourishing on the lip, I think this is the most expensive lip balm I've ever bought and it didn't really do much. So the shade is supposed to give your lip that glow look, that peachy glow look in this case because I've bought this shade. But it comes in 10 other shades, I'm not quite sure if I've just bought one that didn't really suit me but I didn't get any colour payoff from this and I was expecting it. So for me, £28 for something that is pretty much just a lip balm is quite pricey for me when I have other products that will do the same thing for a lot less. So although this is stunning and I would be very happy to keep this in my handbag, it's just beautiful packaging, really is. The product is very nice but it didn't do much for me. So like I said, there are nine other shades to try. I'm not sure whether I will though. 
Okay, so we've touched on the duds that I've tried this month. Let's move on to the ones that were my favourites. So I've already spoken about Revolution Pro in this video in a failed item. Let me talk about the ones that I've tried this month that I've actually really enjoyed using. So this first one is again from Revolution Pro and it's one of their lip oils. So this is a clear lip oil. The packaging isn't all that. I mean, it's slightly creased here where they've not put it on properly. So, you know, it's not luxurious. However, it's effective. So the application tool looks very similar to the Hourglass lip oil application. It's, you know, like I said, effective and it's really pleasant to use. A little oily, <laughs> a little greasy, but it's a lip oil. What was I expecting? I mean, I don't know. If I'm ever wanting a boost of shine, this is what I've been reaching for. This is also really nourishing and really hydrating on the lip. You need very, very little. The first time I applied this, I applied way too much and it started dripping down my face. You don't want that. You do. You really do not want that. So apply very little. It's really nice and it's affordable. The next product I want to talk about again by Revolution Pro is their Renew Lip Conditioner. I mean, this is really nice. I like this so much, I'm actually going to liken it to the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. Now I've mentioned this several times on my channel, not recently I don't think, but I still use this. This is probably my fourth one of these. I really like it, I used to put it on before I went to bed, if my lips ever felt slightly dry in the daytime. I used to love applying this all the time. It gave that milky glow to the skin. So it wasn't super, super shiny, but it was just shiny enough. Really hydrating, really nourishing. My lips loved this stuff. This, very, very similar and a fraction of the cost. So uh, again, Revolution Pro Renew Lip Conditioner with Vitamin E. And yeah, I cannot complain. It is pretty much an exact match for consistency with regards to the Huda Beauty product, but uh, yeah, feels the same on the lip. Just really nice. So if you've been using this and you're finding it rather pricey, because it is rather a pricey item, try this. I don't think you will be disappointed. It's really nice. One other thing I want to mention with this is the ingredients are really, really beautiful, very kind on the lips. So there's vitamin E, castor seed oil, shea butter, and also avocado oil in this. But if you don't like the taste of honey, you don't like the smell of honey, you are not going to like this because this definitely has that soft honey flavour to it and uh, it's really quite distinctive. So um, if you don't like honey, one to stay clear of. I don't really like honey. It's not something that I want to spread on my toast, but I don't mind it in this product. Moving on. So these next couple I got sent in PR. Now, you know I love Beauty Pie. If you are a member of Beauty Pie, you are in for a treat. They've released two new primers and they are beautiful in both consistency and look. So if you're wanting something that is really brightening, that's illuminating, they've got the Wonder Filter Brightening Primer. It's so nice. It really is lovely. Now this reminds me of a lot of high-end primers, um, especially the consistency. It's very, very lightweight. So if you want to look more illuminated, more radiant, and you have an oilier skin, you will probably be able to get away with this because it is so lightweight. I only pop this in the areas that I want that luminosity. I don't tend to pop this all over my skin unless I'm wanting something quite dramatic. It's quite subtle, but very effective and I'm loving using it at the moment, especially when you're wanting that summer glow. Really pretty. The other primer, complete on the opposite scale. This is the Wonder Filter Velvet Finish Primer. And oh, this is amazing. 
So if you don't want that shine on your skin, if you're wanting more of a matte surface to start working with, this is so beautiful. Again, like a moisturizer consistency, but a very lightweight moisturizer consistency. I, I just don't think you can go wrong with this. When there are primers on the market that are costing 30 or 40 pounds, and you're getting this for a fraction of the cost if you are a member of Beauty Pie, I would definitely try this. It's definitely on my up there list for quality versus cost. Okay, so I've already had one product from Givenchy in the fails category of this video. Let's even things out a little bit and have one in the favorites. I spent a lot of money in Givenchy this month. <laughs> so I had a, a, a beautiful loose powder blush that has featured in so many videos this month already. This one I haven't spoken about before. So this is the Givenchy Healthy Glow Gel. Now, if you are after that beautiful bronzy summer glow, but you don't want to apply any other products other than a very lightweight gel to the skin to achieve the look that you want. This is definitely worth a go. So this is a jelly consistency and it has little spheres of bronzing liquid in there really illuminating bronzing liquids and when you spread this out on the skin, those bubbles, those little particles burst and just give you that bronzy glow without looking orange. So I've seen that people wear this on its own without any other product to give you that really hydrated, glowy bronze look. You can build this up to be a lot more bronzy if you want to, or you can keep it quite subtle and just apply one layer. I find this quite refreshing and very cooling on the skin. Just a bit of a pick-me-up first thing in the morning just makes you look instantly refreshed. I love this. I think it's a lovely product. You can also use this as a primer. So you can apply your foundation or your tinted moisturizer over the top of this. It grips onto those products just like a primer would do, but that subtle glow will still shine through your tinted moisturizer or your foundation, especially if it's a light foundation. So yeah, I really like this. It's not gonna be for everybody, but if you're one of those people that likes to try something new and likes a very no makeup makeup look, you just want to look refreshed and slightly glowy, this is definitely one to try. Really nice. Talking about primers, I have been using this little beauty for the last month. This is the Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. And the reason I was so excited to get my hands on this is because it's got an SPF of 50 with a PA rating of plus, 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 which is super protection. Absolutely fantastic. Now, because of the chemical UV filters in here and their superiority and sort of newness, I mean, they're not that new, but the US, I doubt, will be able to get their hands on this because the chemical filters in here are not FDA approved. So I doubt this will be available in the US for the foreseeable future. I doubt you're going to get it, but if you are lucky enough that this is sold in your country, I highly recommend it. This is great as a primer. It's also great as an SPF. So you can double up the usage of this. Now this is expensive. So would I recommend that everybody use it as the standalone SPF? Probably not because the amount that you've got to apply for it to be effective as an SPF, it means you're gonna be using a lot of this product and run out quite quickly. And again, it's very pricey. So I would just use this as a primer on top of my standalone SPF, knowing that this is just gonna give me that extra assurance on top of my standalone SPF that my skin is protected. It's lovely. It gives me quite a nice glowy sheen on the surface of my skin, and it definitely makes my skin look smoother. When I've only got this on, I wouldn't say my skin looks smoother, but when I've got something on over the top of it, 
definitely smoother. Definitely. There is a difference when I'm wearing this to when I'm not. So, I mean, I like it. I really, really like it. I think it is a super triumph for Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so last month was a pretty weird month for me for illness. I was really quite poorly and that showed in the quality of my skin. I got a lot of skin congestion, breakouts, my skin texture was just awful. I got oiliness in areas that I'd never had oiliness before. I'd got dryness in areas that I'd never had dryness. It was just a little bit of a bad month. I also came off some medication that I'd been taking previously for years and years for my skin. So I had the aftermath of coming off that medication. So my skin needed hydration, it really needed nourishment, and it needed looking after with very kind ingredients. And it definitely got that from this next product. So I don't actually have the packaging with me. I've already recycled it. I'll show you a picture of it on the screen now. This is from Dr. Jart, and it is the Soothing Hydra Solution Sheet Mask. I actually bought this from Boots. <laughs> I was so desperate. I just went into Boots and I was just like, I need some kindness for my skin. I need to spend a day just treating myself and treating my skin. This is so beautiful. It's so soothing. It's cooling. It's kind. It's hydrating. It's plumping. It just... I felt well looked after. I really did. And sometimes we just need a little bit of that. This definitely did that in spades. Is that even a saying? It definitely had this in spades. I don't know. Anyway, it's a great product. So I believe that the Dr. Jart sheet mask does have a slight fragrance to it. It's got a flower oil in there to give it its scent. So if you are sensitive to fragrance or flower oils, then you may want to give this one a miss. But I loved it. I didn't find it overpowering in any way and it didn't give me a headache. So uh, yeah, just wanted to update you on that little bit of info for those of you that are sensitive to fragrance. This next item that I've been trying out this month and really enjoying wearing is the NYX This Is Milky Gloss. It's such a beautiful sheen on the lip because it's got a slight milky edge to it. It's not sticky and it's not as super shiny as some glosses. So if you want something that's a little more muted, but you still want that shine, this is definitely one that I would go for. This is in the shade Moody Peach, and I really, really like it. In fact, it matches my nails. It's just a very pretty peachy pink, very neutral, really like it. Just that subtle, glossy sheen and um, yeah it's not sticky I like it I really like it it's one of those that I have to reapply but you know it's affordable so I don't mind so I've just mentioned my nails and the color of my nails which I love I absolutely love this next product is the polish <laughs> that is on my nails I have had so many questions about this polish. Now, for those of you that have asked me a question, you need to follow me on Instagram <laughs> because I did an Instagram story when I first applied this, which was over seven days ago, and it's still on my nails. I mean, I took the nail polish off my toes yesterday and still this is intact. It's amazing. So this is from Maybelline and it's their Superstay 7 Day Gel Colour. And this is in the shade Nude Rose and it is utter perfection. It really is. I've got three coats of this on. That I've got slightly ridged nails on a couple of my nails so I feel like I need that extra coat to just make things look a little nicer. But um, yeah, it's... It's held up superbly well, like I said, over seven days wear now and it's still going strong. It was shinier than it is now, so it's lost a little bit of the shine, but it's still perfectly acceptable. You know, it's not looking ugly and chipped, which most of my 
nail polishes would do at the seven day mark. And I haven't even applied a top coat over this. <gasps> Shoot me now. I didn't do it. I did apply a base coat and then three coats of this, no top coat, and it's still going strong. So that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful in some way. Let me know what you've thought about it in the comments section below. Have you tried any of these products? Do you get on with them? Do you not like them? Let everybody know your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.